Thank you for watching this video. Please click on the like and subscribe buttons so that I can continue to make more videos like this. Question 89. Each circuit leading to motor fuel dispensing equipment shall be provided with a clearly identified and readily accessible switch or other acceptable means to disconnect all conductors of the circuit. Is this true or false? So how should we look this up? You might think fuel, but if you go and look there, there's really, it's under fuel cells and stuff. But we're looking for like motor fuel, which could be gasoline or diesel, something of that nature. And it's dispensing equipment, so you know it's not a fuel cell. This is kind of a unique question. Let's look under motor fuel. Here we have motor fuel dispensing facilities. Now, if, if we would have looked for motors, plural, we would have gone over to the section on motors and we and this is actually underneath that and it's talking about current and all this other things but really it's singular and motor isn't the noun in this case motor is the adjective describing what kind of fuel maybe you know this isn't an English lesson but looking up the code sometimes it has to be it's helpful and this is one of the reasons again why you should take lots of tests you start learning things that are in here and we have article 514 as well that has to do deal with uh, fuel dispensing facilities under motor fuel look at this circuit disconnects and that's what our question was actually talking about. It needed a readily accessible switch or other acceptable means to disconnect all conductors of the circuit. So let's go see what it says exactly in the code on there. Here we are at 514.11 circuit disconnects. Each circuit leading to or through dispensing equipment including equipment for remote pumping systems shall be provided with a clearly identified and readily accessible switch or other acceptable means located remote from the dispensing services to disconnect simultaneously from the source of supply all conductors of the circuits including the grounded conductor if any. Now this is pretty much word for word of our question but it left out it, they should be disconnected simultaneously and that's very important when you set this up because you want everything at the same time to go off you can't just have it go circuit by circuit you want everything to shut down if you've got fuel dispensing and sparks and things you want it all to shut down on right away if there's a potential problem with that our question was a little bit poorly worded because it should have included this aspect of being simultaneously disconnected even with even with the idea of our question not being worded the best way it could we can still see that the answer is obviously true and it really does make common sense if it's an emergency and you got to shut it down you want to shut it down completely all at the same time thank you for watching this video please click on the like and subscribe buttons so that i can continue to make more videos like this if you find this video helpful please consider donating using the paypal link below Thank you.